Hi, this is James from OnlineITGuide.com and ever since Google announced free calls to the US and Canada from Google Voice and you can use Google Voice in your computer right from your Gmail, a uh, question I've been seeing is what is the best headset for Google Voice? And the other question I see quite often is do I need a headset to use Google Voice? So um, let me kind of address those questions. If you're going to use Google Voice on your computer, you need a microphone and speakers. Now, if um, you, if you have a microphone, separate microphone and speakers for your computer, um, you might be able to get away with using that. Um, you might also be able to talk to your neighbor using a couple uh, soup cans and a string, but you might find it easier to just yell over there. Um, you'll get the best results it, with using a headset where you can keep the microphone close to your mouth and the speakers are close to your ears and the sound from the speakers does not get to the microphone very well. Um, that'll reduce um, background noise from from the computer and it'll reduce um, the chance of echo where the, um, and feedback where the sound uh, microphone picks up the sound from the speakers. So you'll get the best results and you'll get amazing results using Google Voice using a headset. Um, so I do recommend that you use a headset. This is uh, what my computer sounds like when I'm just using the built-in microphone on my laptop and with the speakers on. Um, it picks up a lot of other noise and Obviously, my mouth isn't close to the microphone, so it isn't as clear. And um, I'll let you hear what it sounds like with headphones next. Okay, uh, this time I'm using my USB headset, which is a folding Logitech uh, laptop model. And I've had this one for several years, and it's usually in its case at the bottom of my uh, computer bag, so it gets carried around, but the case protects it pretty well. Um, because the microphone is nice and close to my mouth, there isn't a whole lot of noise picking up. You don't hear the fan sound that you heard with the previous version. And uh, we'll get back to the regular video then after this. Now, do you need a special headset or do you need uh, an expensive headset or what is the best headset to use? Now, if you have a headset already for your computer and you use it for gaming and the microphone and the speakers work great for uh, already, you don't need to get a, a special headset. The one that you have will be just fine. But if you don't have a headset yet, um, here's a couple things you can look for when you're, when you're uh, looking to buy um, a headset. You don't need to get the most expensive. I don't suggest you run out to Wally World and buy the cheapest one either. Um, you kind of get what you're going to pay for. You don't need the most expensive though. Um, something to look for is uh, if it's going to plug into your computer using a USB plug or um, my separate microphone and uh, speaker plugs. Um, Kind of nice to have both if you can find a model that has the, the plugs and, and the USB adapter. Um, my Logitech laptop headphone, uh, headset uses that and it's nice to be able to choose which, which way I want to do it. If I um, just want to quick use the headphones, I can plug in just the headphones and use them as a set of headphones. Um, remember that a computer uses two plugs on it, um, not just um, the one plug that you usually see with a uh, typical cordless phone for your home. Um, you'll need to have a, a headset that's designed to use uh, work with your computer. Um, most there's usually two choices to look for when you're looking at headsets. Um, you have the kind that go over your head and the kind that go behind your head. Um, if you don't like to mess up your hair, the ones that go behind your head are nice. They're often not quite as comfortable as the ones that go over your head. Uh, tend to rub your ears or something like that for some people. Um, but in general, you have your choice to go with that way. Um, the speaker size is also something to consider. Um, there are speaker, um, headphones that go from the earbud that c kind of like your iPhone might have to uh, full size headphones that cover your ears completely. Um, the ones that cover your ears completely are nice to cut out uh, sound from the other room so you don't get distracted. Um, but it can be hard to carry on a conversation with somebody in the room if you're also want to, without taking your headphones off. Um, again, it's kind of a choice. Um, I find ones that just go cover the ear a little bit work just fine for me. Um, what brand? I recommend going with uh, like Microsoft, Logitech, uh, Creative Labs, um, or Plantronics. Um, those are the brands that I found to be really good. If I, I might trust an Asus or some other computer um, com high-end computer component manufacturer, but I would stick with the brand names. Don't. Uh, um, and a company that's kind of known for sound and not for, um, you know, Polaroid. I don't know. I've never really thought of them as a major speaker manufacturer. So um, I probably wouldn't buy a set of Polaroid headsets. Um, core controls. Um, 
some microphones, headsets have uh, volume and speaker uh, mute buttons on a little adapter. Uh, really convenient to have um, if you want to just kind of shut off the sound for a little bit while you want to talk to somebody in the room or um, adjust the volume without having to mess up your computer if you're in a game. Uh, storage, if you're going to use your headset with your laptop and you're going to take it around, um, look for a pair that folds flat that you can, and maybe even come in with a case that will protect them. My Logitech uh, laptop headphone headset uh, folds up, it came in a hard case. It gets thrown in the bottom of my computer case all the time. Works great, yeah, it's been protected really well by the case. Um, stereo or mono? Um, I've seen some mono computer headsets where they only work, only cover with one ear, only go in one ear, kind of like you would have for a cordless phone. I have no idea why anybody would want to buy those. Um, if you're going to use it for gaming or, any, or watching uh, movies on your computer, you don't get the stereo sound. Um, just buy a headset that has stereo headphones and you can use it for gaming, you can use it for movies. Um, I don't see any point in getting a, a mono headset for your, uh, for your computer. The plug in your computer is going to be stereo anyway. Uh, there are wireless models out now. Um, they add a lot to the price of your head headphones and your headset. Um, can be convenient. You don't have to worry about breaking the wire. Um, you can get away from your computer a little bit more. You don't have to sit right in front of it. Um, with a wire, you're, you're you know you're going to be stuck sitting right in front of your computer. Or if you want want to want to use it, trying to get up and go across the room would be a problem. But you will pay more for wireless ones, and they don't always sound as good as a wired headset. And the price. I've seen prices on uh, uh, anywhere from 6 bucks to $300 for headsets. Um, like I said before, don't go to Wally World and buy the cheapest model there. Um, and again, I wouldn't pay $300 for a headset anyway. So um, There are very good high-end he headsets in just a little bit over $100, and that's wireless. Um, the wired models are a little bit less than that for high-end, um, but I would personally look in the in the twenty to forty dollar range for a headset. Um, you, know, you should be able to get a decent microphone and, and speakers with that and um, hopefully you won't get uh, really cheap wires. And also check the ratings on the headset that you're going to buy. Uh, both Amazon and Newegg, um, excellent places to buy online, have good ratings for all their stuff. You can see um, if you find a model that everybody's had a problem with it, don't buy that model no matter how cool it is. Uh, no matter what the one poster that did like it said it was so great about it, um, look for a different model that um, most of the people like. You're just almost always going to be some, somebody who's had a, had a problem with something. Um, I haven't seen any product that uh, Newegg or Amazon that somebody didn't have a bad problem with. Um, and those people are the ones that are going to talk up a lot. But if most of the people say, this has been great, I liked it, and few people and a few people have had problems, it's probably a decent model to go with. But if most people have had a problem with it and nobody seems to like it or there's only one person who thinks it's really great, pick a different model. Um, treat your um, headset with a little care. Don't throw it around. The microphones are a little bit fragile to, be, to shock when uh, they get hit around with things. And, but the most important problem with uh, headsets is going to be the wires. They're often um, very fragile, especially where they attach the headset itself or where they plug into your computer. Um, you know, you can think about putting maybe a little bit of electrical tape around there um, to give it a little bit more uh, protection against pulling it. But pulling wires is probably the number one reason that headsets stop working after a while. Um, so um, just be careful. Treat your headset with a little bit of care, and it should last uh, last you a couple of years. And um, you can save a bundle of money using Google Voice um, if you're paying twenty or thirty dollars a month for a phone line, and you switch to using Google Voice. Your headset's going to be paid for in a month or two. So um, thanks a lot. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube if you found this useful. Um, and thanks a lot. Come, back, come to my website at onlineitguide.com. Thanks.